this is Kevin with Mac Fusion, and this is XServe unboxing. All right, so let's unbox this bad boy. Three boxes on top. These are the accessories, power cords. Nothing too fancy there. Fiber channel cables would be in that box if you order an XServe CTO with a fiber channel card. This is your mounting hardware. Getting your your XServe in a rack, which is where it's really meant to be. Trying to put it on a on a desk is problematic because it's just so big and it's not at all quiet. Got our software here. Notice if you watch the uh, mini unboxing video, mini had just generic gray server software. We have the real deal now. Now the good stuff. All nestled in its home. Comes with a, a guard up here. If you have real manly hands, you could probably undo these screws. I do not have those, and I cannot. Behold the front. So let's go ahead and rearrange things to get a close up view of what's going on up front. And on the front of the XServe, we have the power button, enclosure lock, system identifier light that can be activated from the front panel here or uh, with the GUI server monitor application. This is the USB 2 port. These are Ethernet connectivity lights, CPU activity lights. Those go up and down, it's pretty cool. Optical drive, and three Apple Drive modules. Just a simple press is all it takes to pop those out. It's definitely very nice. On the back we have the rear system identifier light, console, mini display port for our PCIe cards, two gig E ports, two FireWare 800 ports, two USB 2.0 ports, and redundant power supplies. So just pop out like that. There's really no sense in not running redundant power supplies. And probably the best feature of all, serial number and MAC addresses on a, on a little tab. It stays nice, tucked away, easy to take a picture with with your camera phone, and it doesn't get dusty. Have our drive modules sitting across the bottom here under the chassis stiffener. If you had a solid state drive, it would be sitting right here. Our optical drive over here, fans, it's the drive interconnect board. It's a single quad core model, so CPU A is right here, CPU B would be right here if it was a dual quad core. Uh, RAM right here, again, our tool pow two power supplies, our PCIe riser cards video card. And that's about that. Elegantly simple.